Hi guys, so I'm here with my weekly mail and I know I didn't do one last week because we were out of town last weekend. Um, we just drove a couple hours away, um, just spent a long weekend away. It was really nice. Um, so, I mean, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you'll be able to see the pictures. I'll probably be putting them up sometime today or something like that. I just haven't had the moment to kind of go through them and pick them out and stuff like that. But anyway, so let me go ahead and show you the couple things that I got. Most of these were from last week. Um, just a couple of things, but really nice things. Also, in case you're interested, at the end of the video, I'll go ahead and put um, a little clip in of where we stayed at so you can kind of see um, the hotel. It, it's just basically the room. Um, just a little quick walkthrough and then there might be a little bits of voiceovers in there because there was a lot of talking going on so you know just to kind of um, talk over that without having to hear everybody else talking in the background so in case it sounds kind of weird just giving you a heads up so if you want to stay tuned for that at the very end you can go ahead and do that if not you know you can cut it out one of the things I got here um, this is a steamer. I've actually been really wanting to get one of these because um, honestly, I haven't ironed in eons, probably more than a year. Um, I only iron when I absolutely have to. Otherwise, I'll just take, you know, if we have like really nice clothes that need to be ironed and I don't want to ruin them, we'll just take them to the dry cleaner. But um, so this is a steamer and I hear tell that these are really great to press your clothes and so, and you can do curtains. I would love to do the curtains that I have in my room here. So that would be pretty cool to check out. The next thing is from Bay Body. This is the Arabica Coffee Scrub. I have the other one, which was the Coconut something, whatever scrub it is. And it is really, really good. Oh my gosh, this one smells like those little coffee candies that smell so good. I don't drink coffee, I'm not a coffee drinker, but I like the smell of coffee. And anything coffee is great for my senses. I really like the way it smells, I just don't like to drink it. But anyway, so I can't wait to use this. The consistency, I didn't put my finger in it, but by looking at it, it doesn't look like the other one. The other one was kind of like um, more liquidy-like, and this looks more dry, and I don't know. I. I yeah, it's more like, reminds me more of like a salt scrub versus like those sugar scrubs with oils and stuff like that in there. It says Dead Sea Salt Granules, Dead Sea Salt Organic Kona Coffee, Organic Olive Oil, Organic Sweet Almond Oil, Grapeseed Oil, Coffee Arabica Seed Oil, Shea Butter, and Cacao Extract. Organic Coconut Extract. So, um... I don't know, I can't remember offhand if the other one had that much little salts in it and stuff like that. I don't know if the other one's kind of melted and that's why it's like that, but it seems like it has more oil. But this, I can't wait to use because it smells divine. Uh, another thing that I got is this shirt. I thought it was really, really cute. I get offered clothes quite often and bathing suits and, you know, things like that. But I don't take them up because when you look at the model on those things, um, a lot of times those models are very tall and very thin and I'm quite the opposite. I'm not very tall at all. I'm like this big and I'm not very thin. So um, things don't look the same on short people as they do on tall people, especially short, um, fuller people. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is the shirt. I thought it was really cute. I put it on and it definitely does not fit exactly like how I imagined it would be. But it is still cute. It's um, a bit see-through, and you know, that's okay. I have a few shirts that are just a tad see-through, not like sheer or anything like that. But um, I thought that the color um, blocking and all that stuff, I just thought it was really cute. And I like that the long sleeves, and you can see how thin the sleeves are, um, that it would be comfortable to wear at any time of the year. I also got... A sheet set. This is 100% Egyptian cotton. It's a king size sheet set. I want to say that this is, this has like the deep pockets. I'm not sure because I hadn't taken it out yet, obviously. And it doesn't say, I thought that it would, but it doesn't say that at all. So it's just the fitted, the um, flat, and the pillowcases. 
And this one I'm super excited about. This is like an overlay for your mattress. So it's just like this foam thing here. Um, obviously I haven't put it on my mattress yet. Um, it feels really nice. My sister-in-law recently got an, a new mattress and she wasn't happy with it because it was too, too firm. Um, even though that that's what they wanted. So she went and got an overlay, um, like a really thick, thick one. It was like foam gel. And I was at her house a couple of weeks ago and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. I love this. So they were offering, um, some mattress pads or something and, and it was a, the wrong size. And I had just mentioned, if you ever have a king size available, let me know, blah, blah, blah. So, and they did, and this was it. So I'm really excited about this. Um, as soon as this video is over, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my mattress. I have a really old mattress. Honestly, we need a new one. I know they have a commercial, like if it's after eight or something like that. It used to be 10 years, now it's eight years. But we've had our mattress way past 10 years. Way, way past 10 years, probably. 13, 14 years. <laughs> so um, I think this will be a nice improvement. We need a new mattress, but you know, it's very costly. Um, so I can't wait to use that. And then I got a replacement. If you saw my Ipsy, I think it was Ipsy. Yeah, it was Ipsy. Um, the Mellow Shadow um, in Coco. It was crushed and it was making a mess. I honestly, I, did, I don't even think I even opened it because it was making a mess as it was. And this is really just so, so pretty. It's really pretty. I'm excited about this one. I love this color. Um, lately I've been using like the bronzers and stuff like that. I've been using them on my eyes as like, um, almost like the transition shade or the blending shade and stuff like that. And, and I really like bronzers for that. So if you have a ton of bronzers and you like warm tones and neutral tones for your eyes, try out your bronzers all different kind of bronzers. They all give like different tones and and some are matte and some are you know shimmery and they're different whatever. Try them out and they blend amazingly well. So there you go. All right guys so that is it. If you want to watch a little tiny piece of the little room tour of the hotel that we stayed in just keep watching. This is the Marriott at Singer Island. This is a two-bedroom suite and um, upon entering, you go right into where the kitchen is. Really nice, it has a stove, a full-size sink, all the amenities that you need. They had tons of goodies on the counter, uh, laundry soap, wine, uh, microwave, everything that you need if you wanted to do all that kind of stuff. And you know, if you're staying for a long period of time, you may wanna do that. The refrigerator was fully stocked with all kinds of drinks. They had water, beer, um, soda. This is a Pepsi place, so it's not for us. It had Red Bull and all kinds of liquor up there on the top shelf. There was a laundry room, which was fantastic, and I did use that. Um, you can see we went into all the snacks and just demolished them. It did have a little uh, desk area. This is where my son stayed at playing video games pretty much the whole time while we were there inside the hotel. The living room is very dark, sorry. We got there very, very late. And this is going into the second bedroom. They were both king size suites. Um, this, they both had their own bathrooms. This is the second bathroom. Um, the way that it was set up was really nice. It wasn't as large as the other, which you'll see in a few minutes. Nice size tub, it was very nice. Everything looked beautiful. They gave a lot of amenities that you needed you know, all the hair care, skin care kind of thing. Um, they even had facial wipes and cotton balls. And if you needed to call down for something, you can go ahead and get that. Um, there was also nice size closets there. This bedroom actually had two closets. This is one of them here. Um, all the rooms had large TVs and um, huge windows. Um, this particular suite kind of saw the beach off to the side, but it was still nice. This is the master bathroom, um, really nice bathroom. Lots of bright lights in there. Um, again, all the products that they give you and they fill it up every day even if you use it or you don't. A humongous bathtub, very deep bathtub. Uh, the shower had a huge glass door, great shower. The toilet was really strange with the glass door. I didn't 
get used to that at all. And it has a hidden sliding door that closes all the doors in all the rooms. Um, this is the master suite. It looks similar to the other side. Large windows, great TV, and a really nice large closet to keep all kinds of things. The very bottom was kind of like a tilt so you can keep your shoes there. It had robes, um, you know, the safe, there's drawers and all kinds of stuff in there. Um, so that is the two bedroom suite at the Marriott in Singer Island in Palm Beach, Florida. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in another video. Bye.